Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I'm here with Madden NFL 2010 for the Xbox 360. I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna go start a quick game, and I'm going to give you guys my initial impressions on what I think the game, or how I feel the game is. And yeah, so I want the fireworks to be showing in this game in terms of scoring. So we're gonna do New England versus the Cardinals. I'll play as New England. When you first start, you can modify the uniform, but I don't really care about that. What's also really cool is in this loading screen, instead of just giving you a generic loading screen, it shows you some different players to watch, the different statistics for the two teams that are playing, and it'll even rotate through some different players to watch, as well as their previous season statistics from 2008, uh, and the team's record. So here's the new intro. NFL. It's Lighthouse and Bridge welcome the throngs of guests who've enjoyed multiple Super Bowl seasons with their team. Welcome to Foxborough. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth getting ready for the start of the game. Glad you're with us. We should be in for a good one. Arizona squares off against New England. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this back can give us today. When he's healthy, he is simply dominant. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot. No rain in so we'll go and do the coin toss here. I'll receive. You can. That's all pretty similar. What I like about this is it's going back to some older time play. I had Madden 2008, and you had to go around and select. So if you were playing against somebody, they would obviously see what play you had. Now you're just playing X, A, or Y. You can choose whichever play, and the opponent, if you're playing two player, will never know. So I'm going to do a return left. Down at the 30. One of the things you notice here is they really tried to make the game slower. Previous games, everything was much faster. Now here, everything has been brought down a notch, so it's not as if certain players are at a huge disadvantage. The same players that were really fast in old games are going to be really fast, but to make it more realistic, they've slowed the entire game down. Make sure that you take advantage of your best receiver out there. He's one of those guys who can force the defense to double it. And when they do, that'll open other things up for you. Gets the ball away. Pass falls incomplete. Tom Brady, it appears as human after. One thing I want to note is, when you're previewing your play and you're holding down, I guess this is RT, you can use the right analog stick, push it up to show your play art, push it down or to the right or left to show fake play art. So again, if you're playing against somebody else, not only do they not know your play, but you can actually go in and try to fool them. So if they're trying to get a little advantage by seeing your play, they won't be able to. Oh, it's not very often we see him overthrow a receiver like that. See, here's a fake play, here's a fake play, here's the real play that we're going to run. He throws right. Tackle was made by Adrian Wilson. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. Comes down with it. Still moving. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Still moving. And the bomb is away. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Second down now following the incomplete pass. It's also cool if you look at if you look really close to the players, you can actually see some shadowing effects, which is kind of interesting to see. Huge pressure by the defense. That was a bad throw. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Passes it out. Drops the easy pick. 
and the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So hopefully I'll play better on that la on the next time I'm on offense, but now this is going to give you an opportunity to see defense, and I can give you my little spiel on how I think defense is. And you can see it has a little starting animation before you actually get to uh, this. And he's hit as he let go of the ball. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket. See, it has this top angle here that you see for a little bit, and then right before the play is about to start, it'll switch back. Give to the tailback. Andy makes it out to about the 21-yard line before several defenders bring him down. Gets the pass away. Bodden is there on the tackle. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Passes it. He goes up high for the catch. To the 20. To the 10. The Cardinals get the first touchdown of the game. That's the catch. Go ahead and block the field goal. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of bad. I'm still getting used to the game. It's definitely different than 08, which I played. Defense is much harder as well. But then again, Arizona does have a lot of weapons on offense. Runs over tackler. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put some... What's really cool is it's not an automatic tackle, pre-simulated. What you do, you can keep jamming on your right analog stick, pressing on A, and uh, you can determine how the tackle's going to go out. It's not pre-rendered. Short pass to his left. Maroney grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. from their own 35-yard line. Graphics are improved as well. Here's the pass. Brings it in. Tackle is made by Gerald Hayes. Tom Brady absolutely drilled that one in there, and he needed to. This guy can throw as hard as anybody in the league. As he throws. The New England Patriots use just three plays to go 70 yards. Tom Brady is really just born to play this position. He has great instincts, good arm strength, throws such a nice ball. And all of his teammates really trust him. They know they can count on him to do everything within his power. Had a little advertisement, a little advertisement for sprint there with their play, with their drive summary. In Madden No Way, which I had, didn't have squibs, so we'll go ahead and squib it. He squibs it. That wasn't what I wanted from that squib. Sweet leaders there on the tackle. The Cardinals ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Here's the give. A we just saw that. That brings up. What's really cool, uh, illustrated there, and I've seen a little bit more is that they have gang tackles now so instead of just one person and then maybe missing because of the new tackle engine uh, there's actually gang tackles which make the game more realistic they really tried to emphasize fight for every yard in this game so improving the tackling engine there's a fumble engine so if the ball's fumbled you can do some mini games by jamming on a jamming on x and you can actually get the fumble and determine who gets the fumble so there's just about 10 minutes of gameplay of madden nfl 2010 Pretty much they've slowed everything down, the graphics are improved, they've added some shadowing. Just initially, I definitely I think this game is worth the upgrade, 
from Madden 08, which I had before, but maybe not Madden 09. So again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. This is my initial impressions of Madden NFL 2010.